Hey, just a quick uh, overview of what it looks like when you log in to turn it in from their website. You're going to create an account and you're going to log in as your um, using your Ashford and, and in the future you'll be using your UAGC address, but right now I think the license is with Ashford. It presents you with all your courses um, and you can go in and say active classes if you want to. If you click on an active class, uh, you will see all the assignments and you can go ahead and then um, say, uh, let's see, let's see, I think you wanna go <clears throat> submit, okay? If you wanna submit an assignment. So I'll just go ahead and click submit and you can submit it. it it's, you know, if you end up submitting a paper for the wrong assignment, it's not the end of the world. Now, mine defaults to cut and paste upload. So I, I would put in the student name, just make one up, um, and then the title. And usually I like to go week, the week and uh, the assignment. And in this case, we're kind of doing this for discussion boards. So I would put in, uh, you know, the um, week number and then maybe the discussion board number or something. And then I, I would copy and paste. Let's see here. I would copy and paste some text. Um, hold on one second, let me just grab some text to paste. Okay, and I have a little something here. And then you, you go ahead in and say upload. Okay, and then it says, uh, here it shows you what it's going to upload and you say confirm. And it takes a minute. So then you say, okay, let's go back to the assignment inbox. Takes you back there. And it takes you back to, um, oh, okay, yeah. Takes you back to that assignment, week one journal, okay. And it puts it at the top. There's Melody Smith, the fictitious name, and the similarity. And uh, the similarity is processing. That's what this kind of grade box means. And so um, after probably when I come, I usually give it five to 10 minutes for that tiny amount of text and I'll hit the return. You usually need to hit the um, refresh in your browser, reload this page in your browser, and then it will sh pop in the similarity. So we'll be right back when it finishes processing. Okay, and so then it pops it down alphabetically or something. I have not yet been able to figure out what the order is, but you might have to scroll to find the uh, newly submitted document. And to see your file, you go ahead and click the similarity bar right there. This is 100% because I submitted this earlier. So it's, it's um, seeing the information that I submitted earlier. So it's telling me this has all been uh, this is completely not completely similar to something else. And just like when you look at your other Turnitin reports, you click this little um, kind of list, uh, this funny little uh, um, symbol here to see the list of items that are um, of the similarities and what websites and what sources they come from, just as usual. You should already know how to do this. And actually, I shouldn't say you should. If you do not know how to do this, please reach out and I'm happy to do a little tutorial on how to read Turnitin reports, okay? So let me, um, I'm gonna close this up and I'm going to show you, I'm gonna go back to the home screen and I've got a little breadcrumb trail and I'll go back to home. If you do not have a class, you can easily add a class, all right? And so you just click add class and just give it a name. I, you know, usually give it a name like something testing or whatever. And then in the enrollment key is your key. So this is your key. And I'll just go one, two, three, four. Let's see, whoops. And you can just do any key, one, two, three, four. You can do whatever you want. Subject area, it asks you, and it doesn't have education as part of the subject area. Let's see if it lets me put that in there. No, it doesn't. So I'll just put anything in there, student levels. I'll say graduate. And then for the end date, I like to push it way out to the end of the year because then I, um, 
this class, this fictitious class is there for me. And um, okay, and there it is. And here it is, there's this fictitious class and it's there for me to use um, to, and then I just say add an assignment and I'll just call it a universal assignment. Come on, go ahead and add assignment, takes a moment. <clears throat> Okay. Okay, and then I'll just call this a universal assignment. And <clears throat> point value is optional and allow any file type, et cetera, et cetera. Due date, post date. It should, I think it lets me um, continue to post even though it's past post date. So I'll say submit. And now I've got a fictitious assignment. I can go ahead and then begin submitting assignments. One thing I forgot to say is that there's the cut and paste upload, but there's also the file upload, the multiple file upload, zip file upload. So you have a lot of options here. Again, put in the name. Um, sometimes I'll just put in the first letter initial and then the student's last name just a, for a little bit more confidentiality, but, and then submission title and then um, cut and paste or single file upload or however you wanna do it. And then you can choose and then uh, just kind of check your files just as I showed you earlier with the other option. So thank you so much. If you have any questions, I am available at any time and I'm here to support your success in the classroom. Uh, thank you so much for taking good care of our students.